Good morning students. I am Nudhariwal. Welcome you all to the class. Children, we are discussing chapter 1, The Tiny Teacher from your NCRT supplementary reader that is an alien hand. Last time we left the topic when the little ants were ready for the work in the big world outside. So let us move ahead with the topic today. An ant hill is a home not only for ants but also for some other creatures. So children, the ant hill where the ants live which we also call as a nest. It is not only home for ants, not only ants live there but also some other creatures like beetles, lesser breeds of ants and the green fly. Lesser breeds of ants means children, the insects that looks like the ant but are not totally the ant, not really the ants and the green fly. Why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nest? For example, children, we live in our own house, okay, if we are living in our house, we will not want any other creature to stay with us. If an alien comes to your house and stays in your house, would you allow it? No. Then why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nest? Not that they are really an alien, but children, they are not from their own species. They are different species. And as we know in the animal kingdom or in the insect kingdom, no one allows the other community to stay in their own home. Then why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nest? For several reasons. Some give off smell pleasant to the ants senses. Now these tiny creatures, what do they do for the ants? Why do the ants allow them to live in their nest? Because some of them gives pleasant smell that makes the ants happy their senses feel good so they let them stay in their home others give sweet juices now some of them give sweet juices which the ants love and some are just pets or playthings like cats and dogs to human beings children like we have pets uh, it may be a cat it may be a dog and we like to play with them same some of these insects are the playthings for the ants they like to play with them and they keep them as their pets the green fly is the ants cow all of you know what is a cow children so like we have cows the green fly is the ants cow the ants train it to give honeydew like milk with a touch of their antenna now what is honeydew children honeydew is a sugar filled substance it is a sticky liquid which is full of sugar it is sweet in nature so these green flies the ants train them to give honeydew with the touch of their antenna when they touch these green flies with their antenna these green flies give a honeydew that is the sugary substance they milk it just as we milk the cow you might have seen milking the cow children when people take out the milk from the cow when they milk it so in the same way these ants also milk these honeydews have humans learned as much as ants have do you think children we as humans have learned anything near to like the ants have learned perhaps they have but they haven't put their learning to good use children we might be inventing new technologies each day we might be researching on several things like we are inventing good technologies every day but we are not putting it to any good use we know a lot humans have a vast knowledge but no one is putting it to a good use they may still learn a few things from this tiny teachers we as humans need to learn a lot from this tiny teacher the ant is the tiny teacher what all can we learn from ants 
hard work sense of duty and discipline cleanliness care for the young ones and above all a firm loyalty to the land where they live as we studied the chapter children you have seen how hard working the ants have they divide their work they have sense of duty and discipline each one does their work responsibly they know what their duties are and they are very disciplined cleanliness they are very clean they keep themselves clean they keep their home clean they keep their surroundings clean even care for the young ones you have seen how they care for their young ones they even take the grubs to show them sunshine to get them some fresh airs and how they clean them and how they feed them and above all a firm loyalty to the land where they live in we as humans are not showing any responsibility to the land that is the mother earth nothing we are just destroying it day by day we are polluting the environment and not caring for it at all but the ants they show a firm loyalty to the land where they live they care for the place where they live we do not so children there is a lot we as humans can learn from the ants that is why we are calling the ants as the tiny teacher it is tiny in nature but has a lot of great deal to teach the humans which are considered the superior mammals on the earth this is it for today children with these words i would like to conclude the session for today i hope you will adapt some of the qualities that we learned about the ants in your own personal life we'll see you in the next class till then stay home stay safe take care thank you